Hello everyone! Today we're going to be playing uh, Don't Starve Together as Wanda. So let's see, I mean, I'm just going to do the default loading here. Actually, we'll make a quick change here. I do like those robes there. Gloves, pants don't really matter. We'll do good old shoes there. And we'll just go. We'll get started here, okay. Let's see, so now we just need to gather some flint sticks and a little bit of food to be on our way. So why did I choose Wanda? I think Wanda is very fun, especially when you get to her, I wouldn't say it's mid game. I guess you could call it mid game. When you get to her mid game power spike, once you have the, press the Hattelator and the Shadow Manipulator. Uh, those two items get you into the more magical aspects of the game to start. Once you get to those parts, uh, the game gets a lot more fun. And you might also see that on the top right hand corner, there's nothing that indicates her health, but you do see a little clock there. And that's because she doesn't heal traditionally. I have something called an Ageless Watch at the bottom, which is the only way that Wanda can heal. I can craft more, but that won't be for a long time because I will need to gather more of these time pieces, which can also be crafted, but not without a special material called Thusalite in the caves. Which we'll need to do some cave diving pretty early on in this playthrough, I'll say, as soon as we get uh, like the Shadow Manipulator and the Alarming Clock which is the weapon I am most excited about with Wanda. I remember the good old days of Don't Starve where some items just didn't have pickup sounds. Like, everything now has a little instrument that goes off, which I think is fantastic. Looks like it's almost evening, so we're gonna experience a little bit of sanity train here in the coming moments, but that is all right by me. Because we got flowers. Uh, garlands aren't that great, but it's an option, especially since the process of making the garland uh, gives you sanity anyway from picking flowers. More grass, more sticks. I tend to like, or at least I tend to like attempting to get a full stack of sticks and grass before the day is out, and then I start exploring. Getting food's nice, getting flint's nice. Because what I've been doing when I play off camera is I tend to like larger worlds with larger seasons. That's what I like to play with. Uh, some people might find it potentially monotonous to do that because you get a lot of the same thing over that period of time, but uh, it tends to get a lot more stuff spawning, which you can change that in the settings if you just want more things to spawn, generally speaking, but I don't know. I just like walk around seeing more of what the map may have to offer in larger worlds versus uh, smaller spawns. So it looks like I could go southwest, or I could keep going east. I think I keep going east, because that's where the path is leading me. So we'll see if that bears us any fruit. Okay. Again. Up time. On the watch. Okay. Then. I see a... I don't know, that question mark icon is over here. So, plug, simple. I didn't realize those had markers now. But, good to know, good to know. Now I need grass, but we need a large source of grass. The sticks have been pretty easy at this point, and I also need gold so that we can make the science machine, so that we can 
Make backpacks. Oh, this is nice. I do like the frog pond spawns because that makes food very easy to farm for during the autumn so we can almost meal prep for the winter. That'll be good. We gotta keep following the path. Yeah. Might as well do this because I believe that you just watch uh, in terms of the clock uh, makes you younger by I believe Journey Nighter, uh, by I believe eight years per use. So I got some rocks, got some flint. I just need some wood for the science machine. Yes, we do, and we do have next. So let's get this party rolling. We'll go up this air section here and build the science machine. So we can make a backpack. And I want just the buckle pack. There we go. And I want to do some quick organizing here. So because of frogs. You want to put the most important stuff on the rightmost side of your inventory because frogs, whenever they attack you, they force you to drop things on the leftmost portion. So, whatever you care about, move it as far to the right as possible, or whatever you don't, move it to the left. Or you can technically use it as like fodder material as well. Let's see. Do that, do that. Care about the wood boards. So we'll put there because it's more I guess miscellaneous at this point. We'll put the rocks and flint together as well as the gold. Move the grass next to the sticks. We'll put that in the backpack. And then Alright. And that's all we need right now. And that I mean that's all we need at this point. Now I assume over there's another sinkhole. Because that's all these markers have been. Oh no! These are marked as points of interest. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I understand now. Okay. Uh, do I need to do something for the scrapbook? Oh, it's scrapbooking. All right, so there's a relatively new system in the game called scrapbooking where you I guess it, what it looks like is if you inspect the point of interest, you get some stuff out of it. There we go. Nice. I don't know. Okay. Pig King's here. Which, that's got to be a good source of gold, especially if we can get the frogs going. Because you can feed... I believe it's cooked frog legs to the pig king in order to, oh dang it, I want that seed, to get gold. You might also be able to give them eggs, but that's not what I care about at this point. I just want to get more grass. I guess if we kick, and more grass, more gold. Uh, we need to find those things most importantly. Okay. Because we're okay enough on sticks. Oh, darn. Okay. Okay, how's that border look? For the swamp. I, to, I just want to see how wide this border is because I don't feel like doing anything with the swamp right now. Okay. So now it looks like I may have to backtrack to this intersection here and go south. But I'm thinking. 
So a lot of you might be like, why am I not making a campfire to make uh, some of this food more efficient? Such as the carrots. Well, for carrots, uh, that's a bad example uh, because uh, carrots actually don't get better as you cook them. But berries, I think they do get slightly better. So, what the heck? What's... Oh, it was probably the pigs that killed the frogs here. Okay, that's fine. Quick organizing. So, carrots, I believe they feed you the same amount cooked or uncooked. They just give you more health, I believe is the benefit. Berries do uh, feed you a little bit more. So as long as I'm eating the carrots, in terms of, I guess, min-maxing, uh, same benefits as far as I'm aware in terms of what I'm dealing with. And also, uh, healing items... Uh, like I mentioned earlier, uh, they will not work on Wanda, only the Angel's Watch will do anything. Let's see here. Yeah, maybe here. Well, let's inspect that just to get rid of those markers. Okay. I need to investigate the scrapbook more. I'm pretty sure it's just, a. Uh, a cosmetic gameplay thing I don't necessarily need to engage with him. Huh. Is this a mosaic biome? Another path, so hopefully we'll have a little bit more gold. Right, a little bit more gold here. So we can prep for making the alchemy engine. Which will get us one step closer to the Press the hat later. Oh, kill! I just want those resources. I didn't necessarily need to kill that mole, but eh. No harm, no foul. Then free rocks. Well, not really free because I have to walk over to grab it, but free enough, I will say. Monetarily free. Okay, I'm looking really, really good on sticks. It'll get to a point where I'm gonna stop uh, grabbing sticks, but we're not there. Let's... Burn a tree. And then we'll let this torch burn out. Probably. Yeah, we'll do that too. Because we're also gonna need charcoal at some point too. So that'll be a good use of resources as we progress through this session. Oh, that's a graveyard. Oh boy. Hyped for that. Because that's free gold on the ground. And a good way to both reduce my sanity to get the nightmare fuel farming going, as well as a source of potential gem conversion. Yeah, let's go up to that walkway there. Because I will need purple gems for the shadow manipulator at some point. So I'll either need these grapes. Oh, we found our grass. Fantastic. Now, like I was saying, we'll need a source of uh, gems in order to make a uh, purple gem. Whether that be from uh, those grave, uh, those graves there, or it could be from the clockwork bishops, which are the taller-looking robots. Give me one moment. I am receiving a call. All right, we are back. Okay, my girlfriend was just calling me, asking me how I was doing. Back to four. I believe I was talking about purple gems. Purple gems, all good. And I'm happy about my excess sticks so that they don't eat into my. I'm happy about the excess sticks, so I can make pickaxes, so they don't get into my stick stash, I, I guess I could say. 
Sorry, because I will need a pickaxe in a few seconds here. Gold. Yep. Should probably wormhole will explore that in a hot minute here. I'm happy about the large amounts of rocks and flint. Oh yeah. I should have figured this is a tall bird area. So I don't like the, the grass geckos getting that close to the tall birds because tall birds will just murk them. That's a lot of gears there. I'll worry about that later on though. Okay, great, great, great. I think we have enough gold to do what we need to do, make the alchemy engine, I think. But the thing is, we need a healthy source of rabbits. Let me check. I think I have to check the wormhole at this point, but let's see, we'll need X. Okay. Okay. Probably would have been good for me to make that, make the hammer. To break down my previous science machine. That's fine. I'll be useful at some point over there anyway. Not probably. I don't know for sure. It'll be useful, but that's there. More seeds. More fruit. Oh, let's check out. See here. Please don't be a terrible area. It doesn't look like it's that bad. There's another point of interest over here. We'll check that out real quick. Oh, touchstone. That's a type of desert. I believe that is the Dragonfly Desert, if I had to guess. Nothing I need to think about at the moment. I'm just gonna eat that. Quick. Is... I believe I should be good before I reach low sanity levels. At least I believe I should be fine. If not, then... Uh, if it bites me in the butt, so be it. There's another point of interest over here. Oh, yeah. Uh, Moonstones. Always important. Wait, hop. Oh, wait, hop. According to the map. That uh, is a... Walrus King. The wars tusks, really good. Maybe those sticks, I don't feel like I need them at the moment. I need more grass than anything else. 
But I should be... Yeah, I would like more grass, so when I make my next torch... I won't actually eat at my reserves. Go up. Let's go northward. Hmm. I wonder how that connects down south. Looks like this. This is a spider forest spawn. That's okay. No problems there. <laughs> I think I might go back through the wormhole. Just grab the carrots. I'm gonna go hunting, I guess, but uh, I haven't made that many weapons because I'm not overly concerned with fighting at the moment. Again, I'm okay with losing the sanity. Not a big deal at this point. Um, I guess let's keep going south. I'll take that grass. Does it just end in this general area? I'm a feeling it might, but could be wrong. Could be wrong. And as soon as I hit 40 flint, I'm gonna stop picking up flint. Because I could always use more sticks and grass over flint. Well, berries. I'm not gonna scoff at berries. No. What I say? Put that now. Okay. Rock's also useful enough. And now, from here, I have a few options. Most of which require me to. Hmm. Come on, me camp at that intersection there because of the sinkhole that's pretty close, but I don't want to deal with too many bats, so probably a little bit to the west there to not have to deal with the bats if I end up wanting to open that up. There's also the pig village and the frog ponds here that are very nice to be next to. Also, pig king is not that far either. Also gives me a reason to go up to the old science machine to to hammer that out. Yeah. Also, if I'm not going to be fighting too much, it might make sense to create a create fashion goggles. Fashion goggles are a Sanity headpiece. So, like, as you wear it, uh, you passively just gain sanity for a long duration. So, I think that would be nice. And once I get to that point, I can do a little bit of spider farming and go from there because. Because up north, it looks like there's a bunch of spiders. If I want to do the sinkhole to get more spiders, I could do that. Definitely should chop down the totally 
normal looking tree though, that is for sure. These carrots have saved me a lot of time over this run. Because I don't necessarily like meal prepping in this game in terms of the amount of time it takes. So uh, the carrots, because it doesn't matter if you cook them or not, I mean, it just saves you a little bit more time. Pretty small, but it, it feels nice to me. Okay. The normal tree again is still there. Clear my inventory. Bank is here. Grab the science machine. Uh, with the hammer, I'm gonna make at again the same science machine. Then just move where everything is. I thought that was a stick. That's just a sapling. Okay. Quick food. So a lot of frogs and potentially a lot of gold in the future. Okay. Yeah. Fresh nuts, uh, you cook them, you can eat them, uh, but otherwise it's pretty much the same as a pine cone. Okay. Now we're going to gain a little bit of sandy back from some crafting. Okay, that. Now, should... Happy we put just so many rocks. We still have a stack of 40. Right. Now we do not need a science machine anymore. That is just raw materials we can use for another build. Now. That intersection I'm still liking in terms of camp for now. I'm going to stick with it. And I think I'm going to try and force a, a poison birch tree to show up so I can get some living logs alongside the totally normal tree. Uh, this is long term for the shadow manipulator. But I still need, after all that, still need to go ahead and get rabbits. Uh, let me mine this out. Okay. I have this already built. So we'll keep everything like left aligned at this point and I'll start some crafting. A flox chest! That was from the Hulk of the Lamb collaboration. So I'll get my chests somewhat away from the stuff I care about. I might turn off that sorting mod so I can get a better look at those chests because those chests are actually really cool looking. Okay. So, full stack of sticks, full stack of rocks. Down the corner. Um, still hold on to the backpack. Let's put all the quote unquote edibles in the bag for now. Okay, flint. Get what goes in. Let's see. Need more wood. 
and still need silk, so I'm gonna hold on to that for now. And I'm not really looking for niter, so what I'm gonna do is go litter a little bit, put that over there. Now, what I care about the most here is, let's see. If I had a stronger weapon, I would be going for the spiders. I don't really have anything that great right now, so. I'll go back to the rabbit fields because I'm hoping that the grass grew back over that period of time. Actually, light source. Need some rocks for that, but that's fine. We'll surely find rocks in a moment or two. Looks like the grass is growing back at least a little bit, so no complaints here. So I need to make some traps. So you need to make some traps, and I believe the traps hold for... If it holds for at least, like, three days, should be plenty of time. I actually don't know how much time it will actually hold, but as long as it holds for three, it should be good. And do not slack on the Angel's Watch because that will get you killed long term. Character. Okay. Let's see. Grass. Finally have over a full stack of grass, but I'll go away in a second here. Anything notable that's super close to this birch tree. Oh. Hey man. Drop it down. I'm just gonna pick this flower just real quick. I'm not with sandy. Need some wood. So I know I've been on a hiatus for a little bit. Uh, I mean, it's just gonna be a general thing where I need to improve my upload schedule. Stuff just kind of happens. Um, yeah, that's really all I can say. Stuff happens. Let's see. Well, it looks like there's a little path up there. So what I want to do is I always lose track of this, so we'll create a few rabbit traps. I think that's too high, but I, th I think that's good enough. We'll see. That looks good, okay. So now we'll wait on those. I guess the rabbits. We will need to kill a pig for some a pig skin to create a hand bat. Hey! On the stage that can get us some quick items assuming I have a good enough weapon that bit here which I should again we'll get there we'll get there this is feeling like the B area but it might not be okay oh, this is another frog frog area Oh wait, you know what this feels like? This feels like... I haven't been looking for Chester. I need to look for Chester. Oh! Hey! Hey, yeah! 
Got some Chester action. Oh, I'm happy. I just love seeing Chester. In that case, you hold on to that silk. Remember, I still have a ton of sticks at camp. Grass, not so much. And also, I am working up a stack of berries that I don't necessarily need, so I need to not be wasteful with those. And it looks like that's a bunch of moles down here in this area. Which, I'm indifferent to moles, so... Maybe I can find some benefit from them in the future. Um, another sinkhole there. So keep grabbing carrots. And right now, I feel like I'm kind of cruising. I feel like I'm making okay enough progress with figuring out where stuff is. Oh, there's a wormhole there. I'm glad I keep looking at the map. Keep discovering new things and actually registering very important details. Yeah, more holes definitely there. Yeah, we'll see what's here. Oh, please let that be a good spot. Oh. So that's just above the. It's about the same distance, I guess, so it's not that beneficial that the wormhole is here. But, uh, we could travel down to see if there's anything even remotely important in this section of the map. So it looks like this road just makes a very, very tiny circle. That's fine. Not every wormhole has to be important. So what I'm going to do is, I'm close to camp, I can make a spear, probably try and kill off one of the big men. Okay, there, but I really don't want to pull from my stockpile of rocks there. I still have a hammer, right? So in that case, what I can do... The pick seems to be nice. It's done, always good. Two hits. Two hits. Okay. Okay, I think that's enough for a hand bat, which is what I cared about. I'm gonna be wet. Saying it's gonna be important real quick here, okay. So, armor? Alchemy engine? Oh, wait, wait. Uh, don't care about that anymore, okay. So it looks like that cleared up very quickly. A two piece of meat. Oh darn. Okay. So what I'll do is uh, only two pick houses here now. Is that fine? The village is there. Wait no, there's uh, there's three here. Okay. In that case. Skin. Okay. Oh, I need the meat, dude. It's fine, I guess. Yeah, there could be one house. Okay, there we go. Okay. 
So what we'll do is we'll store our cut stone and we'll probably make another chest real quick here actually. We'll put more precious materials in it. There, there. Anything else? Right now. Still don't have more rocks. So what I'll do, because I'm being a little greedy, Open here. Looks like we got some shoes. Uh, common shoes. We won't worry too much about that. So I still have my axe. We can probably start getting some rock pot related ingredients a little bit here. I believe I need to remember day 11 for Glomer. I'm just gonna wait a little bit for the charcoal to actually start popping out like that over there. I believe we only need six charcoal. So now what I'm gonna do is go back, check, well, actually, well here, should make some armor. really cool headgear there. Wait, ooh! Looks like we have some late game stuff in that section, so I'm not gonna think on that. Just focus on grabbing the rabbits from the traps I made. Over here. One, two. Organize a little bit so that everything is in the proper spots. One, two, three, four. All right, that is good. Problems there? Well, let me check. Good. good. All right, now that I have the rabbits, all I need is the silk. And I should be golden for the pressed hat later, because I, uh, I will have enough wood boards. That is not a concern of mine. I'll go back to camp, store these rabbits, go up to the spire nests, disturb them a little bit with uh, the future ham bet. Go from there. Get a little pig skin. terrorize some spiders. The hand bat is an incredibly strong weapon. It does about 60 damage. For an early game weapon, pretty darn good. I mean, the dark sword, still better. And the future alarming clock will also be way better in so many ways. Okay. So let's go on a little bit of a spree here. So, ooh. Get me 
suck there. I mean, I ought to kill some nests in a little bit here, too, because we got to be close. Look how this one says it's, it's slightly farther off. Keep this nest too. Five, eight, six. Okay. Let's go this direction a little bit farther just to see if we have any more spire nests available. If we do, that would be incredibly helpful. Do I hear them? That's great news, actually. Stack of wood there. It's 100% good axe. And we'll store the rope in there as well. Okay, so we found the terrarium. Very, very good thing to find because it enables us to uh, fight the Ice of Cthulhu bosses. Uh, there's the single-eyed one, and then there's the double-eyed one. I just recently started playing Terraria with um, uh, with my friend and my girlfriend, so uh, I'm not. I don't remember their names fully, but Couldn't have been it. Just a, just a single hound? Okay, you know what? Uh, I'll take it. Not gonna complain too much on that. It's been a little while since you last eat Wanda, but that's okay. the ability to make the shadow manipulator or what we should be doing still don't have rocks you know what I think it's about time that we just make ourselves a fire pit I like the art for the bottomless pit so we'll do that okay, okay. Now we could start cooking a bunch of berries. Not feel too bad about it. Oh, 
see that hunger go up. Okay. And then meat generally holds better over time. Doesn't really go up in terms of value, but you get rid of all the negative stats that go along with it. I guess what I'll do is I'll plant these birch trees here. Because in my experience, the poison birch trees with the living logs are easier to spawn than the uh, evergreens. The, what, either the lumpy or the normal evergreen trees. So let's activate that, heal up a little bit. So now what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go to the graveyard, which is down south, and dig some stuff up. So that will not be a problem whatsoever. Okay, we'll do classic. I think I'm out of flint for now. That's fine. So my city, uh, all time high, uh, fantastic. So just make my way south towards those graves. Hopefully I get some red and blue gems. I need both of those. If I don't find either types of gems in terms of where else I can find them, I'm trying to think off the top of my head. Good, 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 good. Next scratcher. Pretty medium. Fine, fine. Cup. Air freshener. for Nightmare Fuel game. Okay, now. At this point, do that. Blue gem, halfway there. And then I think... I'm just gonna choose to be okay with fighting nightmare creatures. And I don't think I'm married to the idea of that spear at this point. Red gem, okay, okay. Good deal, good deal. I'm happy that the blue gem spawned. Now I just need the living logs and then we'll be golden here. What am I dropping? Probably the sacks. Bring that up, and off we go. Again, very, very happy at this point, because we're going to have a ton of gold from these various trinkets. Let's see. From the various trinkets. Uh, Going to be able to turn the red and blue gem into a purple gem. And go from there. I should eventually make a stone walkway to bridge the gaps between that empty road. Here. Like a nightlight? No, nah. I should see right now. But, no, for special materials, you go in there. Now. While I'm here. So you're also a special material, so we'll put you there. Mm. Right, so we're gonna go to the Pit King, get a bunch of gold. And while we're over there... Actually, hold on. One more thing. If we're gonna get a bunch of gold... We're gonna do is we're gonna drop that. 
just gonna make gold tools to replenish our sanity. Oh, I'm out of sticks. Torch. Next weapon. Next. What about the shovel? There. Should probably put, just put this at chest at this point. And then let's go. Yes. Yeah, let's just go get a ton of gold. Scared me. So I think investing in a birch forest by dumping those down is probably gonna be very, very good long term. On the way back. I will focus more on getting the living logs from the birch nuts, uh, from the birch nut monsters, uh, from chopping them down after I clear up my inventory of these pig king trinkets. Let's see here. What was that noise? I heard a hiss. The king. We're not done. Oh, look at all of that gold. That sound is also satisfying too, you know. Almost 40 gold from that transaction. Am I holding any more trinkets? I'm not, thank you. Oh, okay, that's the cat coons that are making that noise, sorry. If I'm gonna force these birch that tree monsters to show up, that'd be in my best interest. Chop down the smaller ones first. I'll chop down these three. And then we'll just call it after that. Okay. We'll call it. I have a bunch of wood, no problem with that. We'll just go up to the plain normal looking tree, chop that down, dig it up, and we'll make the shadow manipulator and go nightmare fuel farming. Again, no problems with that. No problems with that at all. Eight. Remember, day eleven is important for Glomer and Glomer Goop. I'll chop. I'll chop those down in a little while. Cause I need to save my gold axe for what really matters. I have a ton of birch nuts. I should rotate those over, but.
Now we can make the shadow manipulate. Which I am very happy with, because now we are almost there to making the alarming clock and just going and breaking this game wide open. Else here. We can make a fridge, can't we? Fridge is huge. Fridge is huge. I'll make this cooking area. Shadow manipulator. Nightmare fuel. I have to go nightmare fuel farm. Okay. So I need to lower my sanity very, very quickly. That's the best way of doing that. I have two nightmare fuel. So let's pull down my backpack for now. All the required ingredients for the shadow manipulator. Go insane. Just need five more. I will try to be doing just to rush this process. Because we'll need seven nightmare fuel for the shadow manipulator. Don't need a backstep watch, do not do that. We'll need marble and we'll need seven for the shadow manipulator, eight for the alarm and clock, so we'll need fifteen overall. I have two now, so we need thirteen. We could do it. We could do it. Okay. Now, for sanity loss, we'll probably have to be just wormhole. Is lose 15 sanity each time I go through. We'll do that. We'll do that. And I'm prepared for everything, all the berries in the fridge to turn into rot, so I'm not gonna be worrying about that. I'm just gonna jump through the wormhole a few times so we can begin the now we have fuel farm as soon as we can. Oh, we can. oh, we can do this too, since we actually have equipment to fight with. Yeah. 
look at Wanda's magnificent acting. Beautiful poetry. Miner's hat. Miner's hat's sick. That does a lot. It does a lot, actually. process of losing sanity over and over. You see them there. It's on this next hop. Should be good enough. There was a shadow monster there. That's a despawn. That's possible. That's okay. That's okay. Five there. That can't be a lot of sandy right there. And I left those traps. I left those rabbit traps there. Those beardlings can turn into uh, nightmare fuel. Uh, rabbits. Uh, they turn to nightmare versions of rabbits. Which I can then turn into my gear for you. Like that. Let's see. And let's try and kill this one. Yep. Let's just do the normal thing, I guess, and just murder. Good hair. Good hair. Good hair. Nightmare fuel. Good hair. We did net one nightmare fuel, which is at least worth the idea. Let's see. Now, at this point. Oh, I guess while I'm here. Charcoal. There's a charcoal there. Charcoal. Okay. And then need to be a little careful in the evening slash night because I don't want to get caught out in you know, the PR darkness because I'll just get instantly murdered. Oh, my damage is already super low with the uh, hand battle rate. It's below 50. That damage fall off is pretty high there. I should get to low enough sanity on the way there. So I'm not gonna get too concerned. I'm just gonna walk it. 
Don't want to get too low, get caught out by crawl, not crawling horror, the terror beaks are the larger nightmare creatures. They will absolutely destroy me. Take it up inventory. Light bulbs are nice, but nice enough to hold uh, forever. Okay. Seeds that need seeds. I don't even know if I'm going to be farming this playthrough anymore because of the frogs. But we'll see. We'll see. Charcoal. We can have that. And then have charcoal in here. Charcoal is in Chester. In here and there. Yeah. A bunch of wood. Is there anything in here that I care about right now? Oh, that's fine, that's fine. Should get the loan of Sammy a second here. Force it. Okay, more features should be going towards me now. assessment killers 15 but 20 HP don't want that not worth the damn FC loss in that case there's a wormhole up there I don't know how I passed that up hold up I don't know how I missed that. So I know this recording session is going a little long, but this is the first playthrough. It should be fine. Let's go. Oh wait, hold up. That's a nice spot, actually. Hmm. Actually, I'm in the center of everything, so is it really that nice? <laughs> Nightmare fuel. My 11. Put it through. Put two, three. We're getting killed by a tentacle. Aww. Sorry, Chester. Okay. Nightmare creature will be great. Wow, that swipe from that catcoon. And also, if you guys don't like the distortion effect from whole nightmare sequencing thing that Don't Starve does, uh, please let me know. I think I can still technically fight nightmare monsters in this state, so as long as I don't get sanity, I'm good. I think. 
because of the red veiny texture on the edges. Yes. Oh, this is great. Fifteen! We've done it. Okay, now... Go straight south. Ten. We're gonna do a little more... Farming after this, I think. However... I forgot the marble. So we can either go south for the marble or we can go towards picking for the marble. Mm. Go towards picking for the marble, I think. We think it's a marble. And then we'll test out. The marble clock damage. One thing of marble, of course. Let's see. Really, the shadow manipulator for that. Okay, that's fair. Bridge there. Here we go. Hambat, you are now trash. Now that this is the most important tool in my arsenal now. So now let me demonstrate. The range of damage is so stupid on this weapon. Absolutely brainless to use. <laughs> and it fuels off of nightmare fuel, so as long as I keep farming, I mean, we'll, we'll have we'll never have problems again. All right, so I think this now will be a good time to end the recording. Thank you all so much for watching. Let's see. Do have the dance? Yes, we can dance. All right. So, hope everyone had a wonderful watch with this video. Please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see any more content like this. I should be late for come back. Everyone, have a wonderful rest of your day. Please subscribe if you want to see all the latest content and make sure to hit the bell to receive notifications. Thank you. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.